Tyrese in this video right here just emptied the clip on his ex-wife in response to her video where she was saying that people were in her ear kind of pushing her in the direction of divorce. She went viral saying that and as a result, Tyrese has responded. For those of you who don't know the full backstory, I'm gonna play about 20 seconds of her saying what she had to say so we can get into what Tyrese said. Let's go. He needed to choose the people that would speak to her in her most emotional moments. Mm. And he would, it was people that would be for the relationship. For me, it sounds true because the people I had in my ear at the time were not for that. that if I had different people in my ear at that time, I would not have made that decision. No. All right. Um, hold on. Look, man, I was not going to respond to this video of my ex has now gone viral. She is loving it. Congratulations, you went viral again over something else that you said because you're trying to build up your YouTube page and get your followers up. Listen, man, listen. If you had people in your ear that influenced you into leaving your husband and your one-year-old child, your innocent one-year-old child, we both were divorcee kids, grew up in toxic environments, torn in between our old family, new family, stepfather, stepmother. That's a life that we both lived. And you packed up a one-year-old, put a COVID mask on top of the rain cameras, and I was literally in an airplane on my way home to fight for my marriage and my family. You're heartless. None of your friends recognize you. This is all about money. If you had friends in your ear, you're lying, you're gaslighting, you're playing. The only person that was in your ear was your mama. Her name is Patricia Randolph. You didn't have people in your ear. The amount of people that was supposedly in your ear, you also had a whole lot of people like Aventer Gray, Taffy Dollar, Creflo Dollar's wife, who married us. You had a whole lot of people in your ear telling you that you're about to do something stupid, impulsive, and y'all are actually not going through anything that would make you want to leave your husband. Let's go even further. When Aventer Gray and Pastor John Gray were having their own marital issues at the time, you arranged a therapy session with Aventer Gray at our house. And when she walked out of her therapy session, she walked into the foyer where the bumblebee is, and there was 50 boxes with like seven or eight people there packing up all the shit to leave the house. And I was in an airplane on my way home to try and fight and save our marriage. So if you had people in your ear at the time, they must be still in your ear because you're still trying to get $20,000 a month for a five-year-old. You make $160,000 a year on your own. This is all a game. You're clout chasing. You're something that I don't even know. A simple woman, not into materialistic things, don't want, don't care about fame and mansions and popularity. You're everything that you told me and all of your friends and loved ones that you wasn't. If you wanted to be famous, boo-boo, that's all you had to say. Tell us how you really feel, black man. <laughs> but no, he says a lot more than that that we're gonna get into. But right now, the main thing, the absolute main thing that we gotta get into is how he basically broke down the whole idea the notion of her having people in her ear the thing that she just recently went viral for was a lie that she had the right people in her ear if it was people in her ear that was up to no good they had a dream team of married people that counsel uh, counsel other married people they had and, and those people said that this is nothing absolutely nothing to get a divorce over that is deep it proves the thing that we've been saying for so long that so many of them just filed those divorces on a whim and everybody is saying no no there's good reasons why no there's not no there's not in some cases of course but for a lot of the cases like this one it is no good reason
How could you be on the internet talking about how you learned, you've grown, you've healed, but you're still trying to bleed a man dry to the point of $20,000 in child support and trying to tear up the prenup to try to get more than what he's already given you from it? Everything about the way you left me was heartless. It was evil. You never considered me your marriage, and let alone your innocent one-year-old child. She had to celebrate her second birthday apart. And if you really are really suddenly caring about the effects that you've had on me and your family, why don't you sit these lawyers off of me? Call your lawyers right now and tell them that everything that you're still trying to get right now, you don't want it no more. $20,000 a month for a child? Our prenup says no alimony. Our prenup said everything that the prenup said. You're trying to crack the prenup. And it's been three years of it. I should have never hired an attorney. I had a prenup. Everything that I was supposed to give you in the prenup, I gave it to you. You want more. And it's been three years. 